the island brings scale. There are a number of companies based here, so you get a skill set, you get a culture, you get a regulator that understands what's, what it's doing. Uh, you also um, get an island that understands that the way the world is going, you have to offer a good balance of consumer protection, advisor protection and life company standards that means it can carry on offering itself to the market in the years to come. Uh, you may have heard recently that we have agreed with Aviva to purchase Friends Provident International and we have signed terms that commit both parties to doing that. This will take a few months to realise, but now we have to make that happen. We bought the operations both on the Isle of Man and in its other offices, Singapore, Hong Kong and the UAE. We have also purchased the rights to the brand as well. So the Friends Provident International name also comes with the company. And it shouldn't be lost on everyone that we are both regulated in the Isle of Man. Uh, I think one of the most crucial things going forward is that companies are regulated in a proper jurisdiction and not one, dare I say, one of those dodgy tax havens that also uh, claim to uh, offer services. I would imagine, therefore, that completion will be early next year rather than late this year. But it's a bit of a guess at the moment. If we can bring it in to late this year, all the better. But my estimate would be middle of quarter one next year. So that regulatory approval process, and for us, our parent regulator is on the Isle of Man, the others are ancillary, but that approval process is absolutely crucial. And I would say that advisors and their customers should want it to be and should be very happy that it's a proper process and it's quite complex to go through because it shows it's being taken seriously. Mm -hmm.